Hello everybody and welcome to this devlog of 1.1.5.7 and change. Um, I've just got back from vacation so I'm all pumped and ready to start doing some updates for buggos. So I hope you guys are excited for some new stuff coming down the pipe. Speaking of new stuff coming down the pipe, let's talk about... Ah uh, yes, workshop integration. I had, I had to find my notes. Um, so the next stage of where I want buggos to go is to be able to um, create your, your levels and level editor, upload them to the workshop, and then be able to download them uh, and, and edit those levels and play other people's levels. And eventually to have that be able to be put into a mods or campaigns folder where you can play like a whole set of people's levels. I think that would be cool. Now there's a lot of work that goes into making that happen. And I use Facepunch, uh, Facepunch's implementation of Steamworks, which uh, it's very good if you ever want to get uh, Steam running in one of your Unity apps or these are the same guys who make Rust, so they've, they've put a lot of work into this. Anywho, they have um, a nice little API here that's built in with C Sharp that does this uh, pretty nicely and interacts with uh, Steamworks on the back end side pretty well. So I'm going to try to get this going, basically creating uh, a map item, uploading the map item, and then a progress bar for the uploading and then downloading and listing things that are available. So I'm hoping that will take me somewhere in the range of a week or so to get implemented. Um, but who knows of these things? Sometimes they take a lot of time. And the next up on the uh, list of things that I want to try to get done, I'm going to work on, hush, I'm going to work on the survival mode a little bit. We're going to put two new maps in here. Um, so as you can see, we have a four attack point map and a two attack point map. I want to have a three and a one. So that way you can uh, kind of play whatever you're looking for. The, the one will be basically like a big tug of war game, which I think will be fun. And then the three will maybe be like a uh, like a Y. That's what I was kind of thinking, three entrances that way. I'll see what I build out. But that way we have a couple different options. There's apparently some reported bugs with survival that I also want to try to level out a little bit, as well as level out the difficulty curve just a touch. So I would expect that to be coming up in a, another update fairly soon. Right now there's currently a number of small bugs. Usually I work from the bottom and work my way up unless there's some pressing matter. But right now there's a number of bugs in the queue that I need to kind of squash or check or double make sure that they're actually working. Sushimasa has gone through and noticed some of the uh, spelling stuff. Excellent. Misspelling capacity is capacity. Ah, very good. Yeah. So thank you, Sushimas, very much for going through, taking the time to do all of the um, the editing. Uh, that will <laughs> This will help make the game much better. Cool. So I'll definitely go through and get those in for the next update. And then what else do we have? Oh yeah, I think there's currently an issue where, as you can kind of see from this GIF, there is just uh, row after row after row of these buildings that sometimes the pathfinding gets screwed up. So I need to double check to make sure that's not happening. And then there's some other little bugs tootling around that I need to fix. And then what else do we have on the docket? Oh, in the last update with all of the uh, new evolutions, I might have made the warriors a bit too strong and or one of the updates isn't getting properly applied. I think... Uh, the move speed, some of the move speeds are not getting added. Like, Hunker Downs might not be being put onto the Warriors. So I might need to tune that a little bit. They're just way too fast if you have all of these upgrades. It's actually really nutty. And they're almost invulnerable with the uh, the Hunker Down. So I might need to remove an armor somewhere in here. This might need to become two armor. Just so stuff can do some more damage to them. And in case you guys didn't get an opportunity to see this, uh, Sushimas also went through and put all of the upgrades and evolutions into a spreadsheet, which is, this is super cool. And you can kind of get an idea of what they all do. You can see what they affect. Um, super good work. I love it. It's uh, it's fantastic. So take a look at that if you're interested. And then Sushi also put together a um, sort of full 360 degree evolution tree. Um, this is something that will probably happen in some form um, just because I'm running out of room going vertically. So I, I'm either going to make it a lot bigger and for the current evolution space or switch this sort of 360 degree um, workaround. So this is probably something that will happen in the near future just to give me more space and more room for evolutions and to make things a little less cramped. Because currently like everything I have to design has to fit within this small space. And as you can see, we're going, we're going pretty high up and I'd like some room to branch off to give the buildings more upgrades, to give the defenders more upgrades and to have more bugs um, coming in at some point. I'm, I'm gonna need more room. I can't just keep pushing everything up north. So we're gonna at least have to go left, right a little bit more or go to the 360 degree. It kind of depends on how I can make it work visually. So that's uh, visually appealing as well. And kind of on that note, we got some questions from the Reddit post that I put up. I do a Reddit post for each one of these devlogs before I do them to ask questions. And also I post them in the Discord. 
Um, so one of the questions is, are there plans for new buggos and is there plans for new tile set? Yes, uh, the new buggos and new tile sets would be part of the uh, free DLC I'm going to make for version 1.2. So that's a little bit down the road, but expect to have that in here and there'll be more evolutions for all the bugs. I would expect there to be maybe four new bugs, maybe three for the new uh, DLC when it comes out. So that will hopefully expand the space a little bit. Another question, is there any plans to make the more... Let me just double check. Are there any plans to make the game more difficult or to add some sort of limiting factors on the evolution tree? Like you have to pick A or B. Um, yes, the, I guess it's interesting. So when I was first building the game, you'll notice that these, these pustules are bigger. And they were bigger for A, to make them more noticeable, and B, because they used to cost two. Um, and I would played around with having them cost a little bit more. I ended up backing down from that just because I like everything only costing one and getting more points felt good to spend more things. It's something that could come back though. Maybe I'll make things cost a little bit more. Maybe we can have like either or upgrades and that might be a solution for like when you get all the warrior upgrades currently, it's just really overpowered. And that's why I kind of have these on two different branches. So maybe I will have an either or branching system. So that could be kind of kind of nifty. That's something I have to play with down the road and see how I feel about it. In general, I like the idea of being able to click a bunch of upgrades. I like the idea of having more upgrades to choose from. I'll just have to make sure that they balance out a little better than they currently are. And then another question from the Discord is, why did I choose to make an auto battle or RTS with fairly minimal controls over the units as opposed to a normal micro required? Um, there's a lot of micro RTSs out there and I kind of wanted to make this game simple and easy and fun for people who don't actually want to do too much. This game's more about management than it is about um, physically controlling all the units. I like making high level decisions and my, the way I like to play games has changed over the, you know, the 26 years or so that, you know, I've had a computer that had been playing video games. So this is, this game is sort of a swan song to what my current enjoyment enjoyment of gaming is right now which is to make high level decisions and to loosely tell the game what i wanted to do i really enjoy spectating these days as it's uh, it's easier on my hands my body and quite frankly i do enough cognitive work that i want to sit back i want to relax these days well anyways this has been uh, just kind of a short little devlog probably we'll see what it edits down to um more to come just staying hanging in there and I'm trying to work on getting the balances uh, correct for the new evolutions and for fixing all the little bugs that pop up. Uh, if you have any questions, again, put them in the Discord. Please give the game a review if you have not on Steam and uh, join the, the Reddit if something like that interests you. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll catch you next time.